Hey everyone, welcome back to Sun 5 Aviation and on this video I'm going to do a bit of an update on the Hoverboss 30 second scale B24J Liberator that I'm working on. It's all part of a, a large commission build that I'm doing at the moment. So I just, I'm just going to run through a few things that I've been working on. I have put it off for a while, I got, I got a gun on it, I did all the interior and then a uh, few things got in the way and so it's been put on the back burner but I have been working on it solid pretty much for the past week uh, mostly um, dealing with uh, starting to accommodate the LEDs that are going to be installed into it and getting some painting done, some construction in the wings, wing sections things like that. The fuselage sections um, have really been left untouched at the moment because I want to try and organize things in such a way that um, I really need to accommodate the LEDs first before continuing with any further construction so that I'm going to end up with um, quite a few sub assemblies uh, which will then come together in such a way that when all the wiring is uh, installed then um, it'll be done in such a way that you, you won't see the wiring. So here I've got the, the wing sections, um, these are just kind of uh, dry fit at the moment. Um, I've had to drill holes um, to accommodate the uh, landing light on the inboard of the wing, as well as uh, the, um, there's going to be, the, the wires are going to, for the input, are going to come out from the, um, one of the fuel panels on top of the wing and then they're going to lead down to a, um, a fuel bowser, a fuel truck um, so it's going to look like the, the aircraft is being refueled from that point it'll be, just be the wiring going into the top of the wing um, I've had to sort of re-educate myself uh, gone back to high school a little bit um, to my electronics notes to relearn how to wire everything in parallel um, in order to reduce the load and the heat uh, on the circuit once it's fully installed. So at the moment on the inside of the wings I'll just show you here. So everything's been primed in black. Uh, that's primarily to uh, prevent any light bleed for, uh, through the wing. Um, and you might be able to see there some of the uh, cutouts uh, where the wiring is going to go. Uh, in the top section there I've got the, that's the landing gear bay, um, that's going to get painted in chromate with some uh, aluminium uh, chipping and stuff like that. Uh, so that's the wings. Okay, the, the fuselage is pretty much left untouched at the moment, this is all just dry fitted. Um, the, the main guts of it is still, still there. Um, I've not really done anything to that at all really um, apart from just added the structure at the back for the walkways to the tail turret and the uh, the mount for the uh, the nose turret that's in there as well that's about all I've really done I've done a bit of weathering shading in there but um, there's still a lot more work to do on that once um, once I get the, the wiring installed um, also I've been working on the uh, the gear legs. Now the 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 assembly of the gear legs is such that the there's a, a plastic um, core as opposed as opposed, uh, and then the outer parts get attached to it. But I actually got hold of some uh, brass gear le um, gear leg cores. Um, to give it more strength because there's a lot of weight to this kit and to be honest with you the um, the plastic cores for the gear legs I can't see them standing up long term um, especially with given what I'm doing to this on to kit updates now uh, you may recall about six months ago I did a video with some stuff that about some stuff that I got hold of from the UK and uh, I got the combat conversions RC135W um, 
rivet joint conversion set for the Royal Air Force aircraft and at the time I was searching for a, a KC-135 kit because I got a couple of 707 kits or E3A wax which of course the, the fuselages are completely different um, so I needed a KC-135 kit and on that note da -da -da, I got the AMT uh, this is the KC-135A version um, I would have liked an R, an R version but frankly it didn't really matter because the um, the CFM56 engines that are on the RC-135s come in this conversion set anyway so I'll just be swapping out the engines from the KC-135A um, nice kit uh, I actually got this it was still uh, sealed in the original plastic uh, it was second hand but never been opened now some people might look at me and say well you've just devalued the kit well frankly I'm going to build it anyway so it, this plastic seal is going to get undone anyway so that's the update on that so now I'm just going to throw up some videos uh, of some close-ups of all the detail stuff that I've done on this uh, B24 I'm going to try and get more of these regular videos out um, as, as I work through this because I have been, as I say, it's been on the back burner for a long time now. So um, in the meantime, if you like what you see, like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications whenever you get updates, whenever I post new videos. Um, I'm not doing the Patreon thing, that's, that's not me, I don't believe in... Uh, asking other people for money in order to fund my hobby um, I just don't believe in it but certainly like and subscribe uh, and you'll get the updates when I post new videos okay in the meantime stay safe happy modeling and I'll see you soon it's on five out